Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. This is the T-Jet Spray Systems Catalog. There's a lot of useful information in this catalog. And what I mainly use it for are the T-Jet tips. Okay, so this is your tip selection guide. And you would use it by determining or knowing which pesticide you're wanting to apply. Either you want to apply a herbicide, a fungicide, or an insecticide. And if your herbicide that you're applying, you're going to have to decide if it's soil applied or post-emergent. Um, soil applied, you just go down this chart and find the one that puts out uh, excellent or good or very good. Soil applied is usually a big droplet or a stream that's coming out. So that would be your tips that um, have a, a big droplet. And then you get into the post-emergent stuff and you got to decide if it's contact or systemic. Contact meaning it's just going to land on the leaf and it's going to contact it and, and kill it by going through the leaf. And then systemic means that it's actually getting into the plant and doing its work inside the plant. Um, so that's the basis of this chart here to know which one we recommend for doing an excellent job, which one we recommend doing a very good job, and which one we recommend for doing a good job. That's if you are starting from fresh and you don't know which tip you're wanting to use. And then if you already know the tip you're wanting to use, you would turn to the, excuse me, you could stay on this same page, find the, if you already know the tip you're wanting to use, use this same chart and find the tip that you already have. Um, a very popular tip is an XR tip. So that's one that is used a lot in our area and the XR means that it's just the tip and it's an extended range and that means it's just the tip. The XRC means that it's the tip with the cap already on it. So if you know you have this tip they're saying go to page 12 to 13. So you turn to page 12 to 13 and you find the tip that you have. Um, again, a very popular one is the 8004 or the 11004. So if you know you want to put out, for instance, 20 gallons per acre, you would find 20 gallons per acre and then you know you have to drive six miles an hour to get 19.8 which is very close to 20 gallons per acre and you have to have 40 pounds of pressure so to achieve that rate you have to make sure you're having a con consistent 40 pounds of pressure driving six miles an hour and it's going to put out 19.8 gallons per acre um, so this column here is the pressure the next column is a droplet size and then you have a 80 degree spray pattern or 110 degree spray pattern. So going back down to that 8004 or 11004 at 40 pounds of pressure you'd have a medium droplet size. Um, C in the blue means that it's coarse and then F in the orange means that it's fine. Uh, the next column is the nozzle capacity in gallons per minute for each nozzle. and um, that 04 on the back side of this tip means that it's putting out four tenths of a gallon at 40 pounds of pressure. So 40 pounds of pressure, 0.4 gallons per minute. Where if you were to go to this 8008 or 11008, that means it's putting out eight tenths of a gallon at 40 pounds of pressure. So 40 pounds of pressure, eight tenths of a gallon. So this, um, display is a tip simulator and all we're doing is simulating we can adjust the pressure and run the fluid through it and when we cre increase the pressure that's showing you the difference that it makes on each tip so if we were to um, change the the tip and have the same pressure um, you would see a difference in the spray pattern. See, these are the same style tip, 
but this one is an 06, this one's an 04. So the 06 means that it's putting out 6 tenths of a gallon at 40 pounds of pressure. The 04 means that it's putting out 4 tenths of a gallon at 40 pounds of pressure. So this one has a bigger droplet size than this one does at the same pressure. So that's what this machine is demonstrating, the spray pattern that you have. So these tips are designed for a specific purpose, um, a specific range of gallons per acre, speed, and um, pressure. And when you have the correct range or you're in the correct range, you're putting out the correct droplet size. And to be able to find that droplet size, you would go to your T-Jet book and find the tip that you want. Um, let's start with the XRC first. So the XRC tip, which is this, which is this tip here, and this is your tip catalog or the T-Jet tip catalog, and it's a red tip, so you'd find the red tip, and it's a XRC 8004. And then this one's the XRC 11004. So the XRC 8004, there's a, a reason for that number. The 80 means that it's an 80 degree tip. So it's spraying 80 degrees. Um, the 04 means that it's putting out four tenths of a gallon at 40 pounds of pressure. So if you go over here to 40 pounds of pressure and you go across to the gallons per minute, it's 0.4. And then to find the correct gallons per acre that you want, you would find your speed that you're traveling and then go down the chart until you get to the, the gallons per acre you want. Gallons per acre, speed, go down the chart until you get to, say for instance, you wanted to put out 20 gallons per acre. So this is 19.8 at 40 pounds of pressure. So it'd be six miles an hour at 40 pounds of pressure gives you 19.8 the gallons per acre. Um, the XRC 11004 is the exact same thing, but you got a 110 degree angle that the spray is coming out at. So you can spray with that tip at a lower, lower uh, or closer to the plant, closer to the target because you got a wider angle here. This is an XRC tip. It already has a cap made on it and the tip in it. This is a AI tip for air induction. And then this is a liquid nitrogen applicator tip where it's uh, streaming out the product. Um, the difference between these two tips is they're both flat fan. This tip is a XRC and it has a finer droplet size. This tip is an air induction tip and these two are both made for spraying pesticides. This one's more for spraying fertilizer. But these two pesticide applicator tips, this one's got a finer pattern to it, a finer droplet size. This one has a bigger droplet size because it's air induction. Um, the air induction helps keep the drift down because it is a bigger size tip. But the air induction is made to run at a higher pressure. You know, so you do get the correct size droplet, but it's just not as, um, it doesn't move around in the wind as bad. You don't get the drift as bad. You don't want to use this tip when you're spraying an anti-drift retardant because the anti-drift retardant will make it uh, gum out. It'll be just a, uh, a lot bigger droplet size than you need. Uh, this one here, you can use an anti-drift agent in your tank mix. So this is the Spray Systems Turbo Twin Jet tip. And as you can see, there are two spray patterns coming out of the one tip. And this is for a deeper crop canopy penetration, where if you wanted to spray in soybeans that had soybean rust, and you needed to make sure that that fungicide got down in the canopy as well as you can have it. It's spraying as you go and then as you, before you get to the crop, crop canopy and then after you go across the crop canopy, you got two spray patterns coming out of the one tip. Please give us a call at Newton Crouch 
and we'll be glad to help you make the correct decision on which tip to purchase for your application. Technical assistance is available online 24-7 on our YouTube channel or our website, newtoncrouch.com. You can call us at 800-241-1350, Monday through Friday, and speak with a real person. No recorded messages. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to assist you. Proudly, Made in America, a family on business since 1940, Newton Crouch.